Track and field doesn't make the University of Minnesota money, but its athletes will tell you it offers a lot. These are opportunities for students to get into school and get a degree. You know, I'm thir three years into completing my bachelor's degree, so like, I never thought I would be here, and it, it wouldn't be for track and field. The program adds diversity. The athletes carry a 3.26 GPA, and the team is good, consistently finishing in the top three in the Big Ten, producing 14 Olympians with 120 years of history. But U of M Athletic Director Mark Coyle decided to cut men's track and field, along with tennis and gymnastics, because of a $75 million COVID-19 related budget shortfall. So the financial argument of, well, this just can't work is, well, you didn't try. Gopher track and field alumni like Mike Linneman have organized to help the athletes fight for reinstatement. We've already raised money. We have commitments of $300,000 committed per year, every year, for five years. And we raise that in five days. Supporters say cutting track only saves the U $630,000, less than 1% of the budget shortfall. And they say cutting it loses the U so much more. You just cut so many kids' dreams and opportunities. It's just pretty unfair for all of us. The Board of Regents will vote Friday. Athletes and alumni are holding out hope they'll change their minds. There's really one thing that we want right now, beyond everything else. We want Regents to vote no. Like, that's at the crux of everything. After that, we can have a longer conversation. Lou Raguse, Care 11 News.